Okay, what's up, Charlie? What are you doing here, bud? What's covering the engine. Why are we covering the engine, bud? Why are you smoking a fucking cigar, bro? <laughs> yeah. You're a cigar Just smoker, are you there, Charlie? Yeah. Charlie's a cigar guy, huh? All right, what are we doing here? And Charlie, uh... Charlie uh, is covering that engine up. Now why he's covering the engine? Because we're going to be doing a lot of sanding, a lot of bondo grinding. And Charlie, you need to make sure that's tucked all the way behind you, bud. All the way behind it, see? Because actually on a Volkswagen, let me show you something, bud. Reach behind there, you're going to feel a hole. Okay. Okay, that's the fan shroud, bud. There's a fan in there. We don't want to get that full of... Okay. So pull all that plastic in there, see? And cover that engine real good. Okay. Hold on, we got us a guest here today. Hold on, what's going on? What's up? What's in that box I'm fixing to mail? It's stuff that goes to Australia. Uh, I need to know because it's emblems. 1955 okay. Buick emblems. They gotta know for the paper. See you later. Bye. Okay, Charlie, make sure the plastic is covered up tight. Cover the motor good. Uh, it's not that difficult of a job, is it, bro? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Look, let's go ahead. Yeah. Hold that. There you go. Tap it around there. Okay. Thank you very much, Charlie. What were you doing, bud? Covering the motor. Before I asked you to cover the motor. Uh, standing on the car. Get your fucking ass over there and get it. Thank you very much. Have a nice fucking day. Okay. What we got is a big fucking mess here, see? We thought we had us a... Okay, the situation we have is not fucking good. Okay, I was, I uh, looked at our Carmagia, I cleaned the bastard out, okay? And it turned out that uh, this whole side has been completely sideswiped from the door all the way back. Now, as I look in the car, and I'm gonna show you this, even the fucking door jam has Bondo, okay? The door jam, sure that all this Bondo is completely cleaned out is I'm gonna have to grind all the Bondo out of the fucking car. And uh, that's one thing that makes stripping a vehicle better than uh, uh, a pressure type cleaning like uh, sandblasting or soda blasting. Because if you use aircraft stripper to strip this and the Bondo still is in pretty decent shape, you can actually leave, you know, take your air file or your DA sander, sand uh, the top layer off and go ahead and use that. But uh, when you soda blast or sand blast it, you can't do that. And in this corner here really fucking sucks. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take my grinder. Now I want everybody to pay attention out there. See, I'm not fucking showing you this to waste my fucking time. Okay, I've had a lot of people email me and they say, hey Pete, I stripped my car down to bare metal. How do I clean it off? I've told you how to clean it off. I have fucking done that, okay? I told you to use it. I told you to use vinegar water and steel wool. I told you the minute that you strip your car with airplane stripper to wash it off with regular tap water out of the hose and steel wool, okay, as an abrasive. I told you that. How much fucking more do I gotta tell you of how to clean your car after you strip it with airplane stripper? Now, that's how you do it with airplane stripper. This car ain't been stripped with airplane stripper, okay? This car's been stripped with soda blasting material. That's a different story, okay? We haven't cleaned it off yet. All I have done is strip the car down, okay? Before I clean anything, I'm gonna grind the Bondo out. Now what I got here, I got a variable speed grinder, I got my safety glasses, and also I got my safety mask, okay? And I'm gonna grind all this Bondo out and uh, it's gonna make a big fucking mess, I can tell you that. It's gonna give me more fucking work, see? Okay, but uh, that's part of the job. I mean, what are you gonna do, all right? This dent goes all the way back here where my, you can't even see my hand, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start stripping that down and we'll see what we got underneath it.
Okay. All right, now, I still gotta get down in this area, but I wanna show you what we've done here. Uh, this carbon gear, this car, this vehicle, was hit very, very hard in this section right here. Okay, you can see where it actually buckles in, okay? And to fix that properly, it would really need to be pulled out. See, if, you could, if we could get in here with our frame machine and pull that out, that would actually straighten all this instead of being rounded off and buckled like that. And uh, what would happen, do that, I think I can take my dead pullers and my, uh, you know, slide hammers and my body hammers, because we do have the car gutted out. We can access all these panels very easily from the inside now. And uh, I think I might be able to clean it up. But what I wanted to show you is, it's very important, let me get my camera. When you are doing your body work, okay, when you strip your car down, okay, like you see right here, okay? Whether it's with an airplane stripper or soda blasting or whatever, okay? And you come to the Bondo, all right? And you look at the Bondo and you say, wow, that looks like shit. What am I gonna do, okay? It doesn't matter, you need to get the shit off of there. But you start looking at the edges here and you see the rust that is built up around under the Bondo. That's because the Bondo was not properly put on. As you see down in the corner here, and in all this here, you can see where I grinded that down, I took the rust off. But as you see under the Bondo, I left some on there to show you, there is rust under the Bondo. Now what had happened is that the Bondo was very, very thick in this area. And if you remember looking at it, there was a crack going down in this area right in here, cracks. And the moisture and the water had gotten in the cracks, seeped underneath the Bondo, and uh, it looks like we might have caught it. I don't know. I probably have to cut this section out and make a new section for the guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see where they actually welded it, brazed it up, did something right here. That's, uh, okay, something. I don't know. It looks like. This is because when the car was bonded up, water was traveling down in there, and then it would stay inside there, see? And it would just settle in there like a little underground lake. Now I got to come back and grind all this fucking Bondo out, okay? Because, uh... I got to. Okay, now if you look at the thing, at the Bondo right here, and you see that the Bondo is still in very, very good uh, action, and I'm looking at it myself, okay, and that it's not peeling off, and that the metal underneath the Bondo is in still uh, brand new condition, you can actually go ahead and leave that on there. We will probably take it off, okay, the guy is paying good money to have this car done. I don't like leaving it on. Now, I was telling you that for a beginner, from a beginner's point of view, that leaving some of the Bondo on will not hurt your vehicle. You don't have to take all the Bondo off. We will take all the Bondo out of there and start over. So uh, that's a good little lesson. When you strip your vehicle down, okay, here's some uh, surface rust right here. There was probably Bondo that overlapped, okay? Uh, when you strip your car down, it's very important to go ahead and clean all that old Bondo off very, very good before you wash your car off with vinegar water. Once we get that done, you see the body's very clean on this. Uh, this side of the car looks really clean. And uh, Carmen Gia guy, he's a happy guy. This is Matt, Volkswagen Matt, Carmen Gia guy. We're gonna meet him pretty soon and uh, talk to him. If you look inside this door jam, you can see that this was a hard hit car. If you look right in here, you can see show you. There was Bond. This is Bondo. Okay. So, this is Pete. 1968 Carmen Ghia. The owner decided to go ahead and use uh, spray paint on the fucking dashboard. Ain't that great? Hmm. Wow. Just more work for my friend, your friend, everybody's friend Pete. 